Spencer, you've worked on these tournaments yeah. before. What can we expect? It's all about the opportunity with this tournament. You know, where we had the prize fighter, prize fighter tournaments before, now this is slightly different. The prize fighter tournaments were all about the ex fighters coming back down. You know, your ex world champions, the likes of Robin Green and stuff at the back end of their careers. This is for the kids, the grassroots, giving them the opportunity, giving them the platform. And um, yeah, that's that's the exciting thing about this. We've got six kids in this that are unbeaten out of the eight. Um, they're all like 1 and 0, 2 and 0, 3 and 0, so it's a huge opportunity for all of them. It's like their world title fight, and that's what I love about it. And if you ask me who's favourite, who would you go for, I really can't pick it. You know, they've all got equal qualities, and um, yeah, it's going to be exciting. It could all be a battle draw. Well, that's the, the beauty of this. The guys, all, all eight of them there, they don't know who they're going to face, but let's find out now. Michaela's going to draw first, so that's home corner. Spencer's going to draw the away corner. Let's get it out of the way. This is quarter finalist number one, home fighter. We have Otis Lookum, okay. yellow shorts. So Otis Lookum. Come on, Otis. Come on, Otis. He will face Spencer. We've got a Dylan Chima on yeah. the Simple as that. Win by any means necessary. Otis, you are heavy handed. Uh, you're very tall for a lightweight, also. How are you going to beat Dylan? He's not. Punch him in the face. Punch his face. As simple as that? As simple as that. Who wants this more? Chima! I'm here to win. Look at me and look at the crowd. We're ready to go. I'm taking a smile on my face because I'm going to enjoy punching his face. In. Otis, how are you going to deal with the crowd that Dylan's going to bring? Don't bother me, mate. I'm doing this for my family, so I'm bringing it all. Good luck to both of you. Go on, OG! Hey, look, please. Tian Gibbs, purple shorts. What's up? Brother of Corey Gibbs, who won the tournament in November, he will face. Scott Melby, oh. Scott oh. Melby Shorts. Oh. Um, Come on, the Come on, the Come on, the gym mates who wanted to fight and won, are we going to have to toss a coin to see which trainer is going to go in which corner? East side representing Savage Dan. This is the one we didn't want to see this early, but it's just fake, guys. Uh, Scott, what are your thoughts on this part? He's <laughs> <laughs> all broken. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Uh, Tion's a good one. I am uh, just made the best man win. Tion, what about you? It's a bit of a madness, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, man, we'll get in there. We'll figure each other out. We'll go. Who knows? It is about the luck of the draw. You guys have obviously sparred a lot of rounds with each other. How do you beat Scott? Just do my thing. Like he's gonna do his thing. I'll try to figure him out. He's gonna try to figure me out and move me forward. Scott, any final messages as you look into Tion's eyes? Best of luck. Good luck to both of you. Our first fighter in quarter final number three is... Rylan Charles. Come on, Rylan! Come on, Rylan! Rylan, who's he going to box? He is going to box. Joe Hughes, Red Shorts. Joe, I'm going to be coming up, Joe. Big punch in the second suggestion. It looks like a good one on paper. Savage Dan. Rylan, you are the most experienced and high profile fighter in this tournament. You've got a come forward style. Does anything change on Saturday night? Are you still coming forward? 
Now I'm on a back foot, a uh, bit of switching, switch here, I'm gonna wait and see. Is that my games or is that seriously what you're gonna do? Of course I am, the Pines for the Powerhouse is coming and give it some. Joe, how do you deal with a man that's just gonna come onto you and onto you and onto you? Me, him in the middle of the ring, beat him up. Simple as that. Fire with fire? Beat, his own, beat him at his own game. How do you beat Joe? Yeah. I'm gonna knock him out. <laughs> Any reply? Come on, Joe! I don't think he is going. They both look ready to meet. Good luck to both of you, boys. First fighter in quarter final number four is going to be. Sean Cooper, Lightning. Oh, Sean! Oh, Sean! And Spencer. Let's complete this. Sean Cooper is boxing Brooklyn Tilly Green Shorts. Sean, how are you going to make your experience tell on Saturday night? Take him to the deep waters where he hasn't been. I've been there, so yeah, kind of box his head up. How do you take his experience from him and turn it into a negative? I've been sparring some big boys. Uh, I've been sparring with the English champion, uh, Lenny Fuller, uh, a lot of big boys. So um, I've been to the deep waters. There's a lot of talk that because you are such a seasoned pro, you may not be able to adjust to the three minute rounds, uh, the three rounds, sorry. Um, what do you say about those critics? Well, yeah. I've been in the amateur days as well, and I've been training freeze, sparring free freeze, and look, it's, it's going to be done on that Saturday night on the show. It's training, and I've trained hard for these free freeze, so let's, let's get up. Sean, oh, sorry. <laughs> look Sean in the eyes and tell him what you're going to do to him on Saturday night. I'm going to outbox him, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it to him for three rounds straight. So, yeah, tune in. Good luck to both of you. Good luck, Sean! That is it. That's